Yeah. Okay. And then what what about knowing what you guys know now? Okay, so you guys are three and three, so six years into Ibex. Is there anything you guys would would have done differently when you, if you were to start it over again right now? Probably. Start the start the company. Probably a hundred percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> our <clears throat> our research and development cabinet would probably be a lot smaller. Yeah. Because we know what we know now. I mean, when we came into the industry in 17, we knew everything. And now we know more than we knew then. Yep. But less than we know. You know, CVT stuff is, some people call it a black magic. It's 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 understanding um, just the, the profile stuff and, and how the belts work and stuff. I mean, Ann's clutching book was, was a huge help to all of us. And then, you know, learning from other people in the industry, you know, I mean, we don't know everything. Yeah. Um, our clutch kits work phenomenal, um, but there's always something more to learn. You know, this this turbo that these guys just came out with that we're now using on our, on our catalyst kit, I mean, it has completely redefined the way turbochargers work. I, I would argue, I mean, I did, I argued with the guy that sold me it for a year. I was like, there's no way, dude. There's no way it's that much better. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's the thing with, with clutching, too. There is so much more that we haven't <laughs> discovered, you know, mankind itself, people in our industry, us, you know. So we're always trying to to keep moving forward, developing, you know, different stuff, learning different things. Like our R&D cabinet is bigger than our production cabinet mm -hmm. because we have failed so many different times trying something new yep. to see what happens. And I'm sure there's other people that can say the same thing, so... Yeah, I mean, the quicker you, the quicker you're able to fail, the quicker you get to the solution. Mm -hmm. The more, the more attempts and shots you take at at that, you just get more reps. Yeah. So, it's it's a, I mean, when you fail, you learn. Yep. That's, you know, we learned. We know it a hundred different ways not yeah. to do it. Therefore, you For don't sure. really fail. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So. Exactly. So tell them a little bit about what you started with <laughs> and the different sticks you've picked up and where you are today. So, <clears throat> our initial setup we did was just clutch weights. Primary. Primary clutch just weights. Them. Yeah, primary. They're the little arms that go into Which, the... in today's terms, right, so mm -hmm. it would be similar to a stage one yes. kit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so the stage one kit in most markets is a set of the little fly weights and generally a primary spring. Sometimes they do a secondary spring with it. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> that's kind of where we started. We basically only worked with the primary itself um, initially. And what we found was, and maybe we'll go into a little bit more detail later, but from an overview, what we found was the changes we were making, although made improvements, they had some very bad um, backlash, I guess side effects and so it took a little while to figure out what that was and why we were having this problem <coughs> um, we met with a company or a, a fellow out of Minnesota he was another kind of clutching pioneer type guy he's in his 90s now still kicking still kicking as far as we know I haven't talked to him for a few years Good for him. but <clears throat> he uh, he was focused on the secondary and so we kind of went out there and he gave us the ropes and explained how the secondaries worked. And that's when we started kind of like light bulbs popping on that. No, this is, um, our issues are related to what's going on in the secondary. So then we started messing with the secondary and the Ken MX three really taught us a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, because it there was quite a lot of things in it that were different than the snowmobiles that um, brought out and exposed these problems a little more obviously, <laughs> which was good. Um, <clears throat> we ended up developing, and some of it I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's proprietary, but we ended up developing a new way to cut helixes, and we have a very proprietary helix. And largely, what's out there works fine with the primary stuff that's out there. Mm -hmm. But because we do the primary so different, we had to develop something in the secondary to match it. 
and it took a while to figure that out. Now we kind of dropped the line of stage ones because of the nature of the uh, side effects, and we provide full packages and secondary, which most of the industry knows as a stage two. Yeah. So let me let me chime in here. Explain to the the snowmobiler who doesn't understand they they've heard the primary and secondary clutch, but what <laughs> what what's the key role of the primary and what's the key role of the secondary clutch? And we should shout out, you've got your own YouTube channel. Yes. Right? And if so, we're going to talk about some of these, I guess you want to call it educational deep dive or dives into some of these terminologies, but you've got a, your own YouTube channel where you actually go into further details on yeah. some of the clutching. and Yeah, it's called My sorry. Clutching Guy. So My um, Clutching Guy on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So if you're, if you're, you want to just nerd out on clutching, that's the resource yeah. to head over to. Cool. 